They call this a controlled environment, but I don't know about that considering who's about to fight. We are live at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, Connor Ben. He's 173 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. And in this corner, it's Sean Showtime Porter. He's five foot seven inches tall with a 69.7 inch reach. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt. The other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. And here is the destroyer, Connor Ben, one of those must see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. John Showtime Porter, the two-time welterweight champion of the world, born in Ohio, but fighting out of Las Vegas, USA. It'll be ding ding from first bar there. Off. Looks like we're ready to go here. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor, the Destroyer Ben. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world, introducing Showtime, Sean Porter. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. You couldn't buy a seat in this place. Right. You'd be very lucky if you're ringside, but you I'm know what? Watch it from home, you've got everything on a plate. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Just misses with that big right hand. Caught him with that power punch. both covered thousands of boxing matches in our day, but I don't think I've ever been to a venue quite like this. For a fighter walking into a theater, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in a gym because the people are up close. You can hear people talking ringside. You can hear people jeering, saying how good you are, saying how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. Some nice exchanges from both men in this fight. Swinging him in. Both men step back for just a moment. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight is closer than two pages in a book. Which fighter is going to get clipped first? He threw the hook, didn't land. He scores with that right uppercut.
Clean right uppercut. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches have watching me, watching your every move, that every drill. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. score that left hand. That's another scoring shot. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. One to get done. He fails to score with that left hook. Nice veteran move here to hold on to his opponent to slow down the momentum. Good punch scores. after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not, you say it, night-night. 